Hey guys, welcome back. Thanks for sticking around for the series. This is the Plants vs Zombies Ultimate Guide. In the first episode, I'm going to be taking you through uh, the first of many modes that there are of play. Now, the first one I'm going to feature is Garden Ops mode. So, uh, from the main menu, which you'll see here, you just hit Garden Ops at the top. Now, you can either do a custom search and join in a game that other people are playing, or you can create your own match. If you create your own match, you can choose which map you're on, you can choose your difficulty, crazy, and you can even set it so you've got invite only, so you can set up to four players in Garden Ops mode can join in. Now, uh, if you've got a party going or you've got a few mates that are playing the game, this is a really good mode to kind of get used to the game uh, and how it works and stuff. There's also achievements for finishing a Garden Ops match on each difficulty, so easy, normal, hard and crazy. So, uh, we're going to go back from private match, we're going to just do a custom search, we're going to put it on... Uh, we're going to do it on easy and we're going to just do any any map. There we go. We'll just search for that and see what comes up. Okay, you see the connection time. It's very, very quick. Usually is. There's usually a lot of people playing this game, so uh, you shouldn't be waiting around too long in lobbies and stuff. So we've got a garden center, garden ops. Now, garden ops basically works like most games have a horde mode, um, like Gears of War, Halo has the... Uh, Oh, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. Firefight, I think it is. Um, and there's a few other bits and pieces as well. This is basically the same thing. You go through 10 waves of zombies. Uh, wave 5 is a boss wave. Wave 10 is a boss wave. And then somewhere in the middle there will be a special wave. Usually wave 3 or 8. Uh, but it will randomise it. And uh, the special waves are specific characters you have to fight. Now in Garden Ops mode you can only, ha you can only play as the plants. Um, so this is what we're going to do here. I'm going to go for my personal favourite for Garden Ops which is the Toxic P. Uh, now something else that's worth mentioning as well is that if ever you're hearing voices and stuff and it's quite annoying and things you can just press the back button on the controller, uh, bring up the player list and you just hit X and you can mute everybody. Now I'm just going to do that because I'm recording and stuff as well. Sometimes I will talk to people and things but right now obviously they won't be able to hear me. So how does Garden Ops mode work? This is the Garden um, in the middle of the map. Now at the beginning of garden ops mode you have a choice to uh, decide where the garden is going to be. There's usually two or three different options. So you set the garden up in the middle here uh, and then basically the idea is you just defend it. You've got your garden health at the top of the screen and then underneath you can see we're on wave four. I've jumped in halfway through a game. Um, you can have your other four players. So we've got a cactus, we've got a sunflower, fairly certain I saw a uh, saw another pea shooter somewhere, now we've got a teleporter there that's going to just keep spawning zombies in, so we want to get rid of that really, there we go. Um, so yeah, this is the idea really, you just got to hold off against waves of enemies, you can see the little purple faces in the wave mode, uh, underneath the garden health will show you how many zombies there are left to find. Now also in garden ops mode, this is where you use your pea, your, your plant pots. Um, now, Adam is plant lover, he, uh, yeah, so on this one you can just hit B and it brings up all your reinforcement stickers and stuff. Now, for some reason, I don't have any reinforcement stickers. It, I should, but I don't know where they all are. I don't know what's happened with that. Maybe something to do with the update. I'm not sure. So, yeah, you can plant your plants there, and uh, I will do another episode about all the different plants you can get, as well as all the zombies you can get as well later on for the other game modes too. So, the Zomboss slots decide what the boss wave is going to be. Now, we got quite lucky there. If you get three of the same thing, then uh, you will end up getting, like, a super wave where you get just, like I say, well, super wave, basically. Um, this time around, however, it was, uh, I believe, a Gargantor, a bunch of zombies, and we got some money as well, so that's pretty lucky. Um, so the idea is you're going to have a whole bunch of bosses, a whole bunch of zombies come in that are kind of specialised, like engineers and things, rather than just the normal zombies. But then also, somewhere, somewhere on this map, there is a uh, super duper Gargantor guy who will literally just mess everybody up and should not be allowed near the garden at any cost. Uh, so, <coughs> we're gonna take out this teleporter, reloading, there we go. Uh, take that zombie. Right, there he is up there, you can see his face there, his happy smiling face. So let's, uh, wow, okay. Um, take care of these foot soldiers briefly. Jump packed up here. Dang it. Right, now, where is this guy? Oh, they've taken him out. Very good. It is all easy, to be fair. Now, uh, hopefully next time we'll get a chance to see the uh, the bosses as they come in. I don't know why I haven't got any reinforcements. It's very strange. So. 
Okay, so the sunflower's healing the cactus there. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sunflower. Very good. Thank you. Oh, nice. A meditation thing. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, this is basically the idea of the game. So, wave six, and uh, we'll carry on playing, and I will just deal with these. So basically, I'm going to carry on playing. I'm going to speed the uh, speed the game footage up a little bit. We're going to skip ahead to the garden ops mode a little bit, and you can see as to how it works and everything. You've kind of got a general idea, I'd imagine. It's not very complicated. Uh, and then uh, I will be back towards the end of the video to just kind of finish off the finish off the wave mode. So I will catch you soon. Okay, so now you can see, um, basically this is one of the special challenges that will pop up in one of the waves. This isn't a special wave, uh, this is just a special challenge. Now this one is ridiculously hard for some reason, which is uh, don't get hurt, uh, which is just going to, it's not going to work. Uh, there are some that are fairly straightforward. There are things like don't let the garden take damage, don't get KO'd, uh, kill them within a certain amount of time, kill the, all the engineers in a certain amount of time or whatever. Uh, there are a bunch of different things that you can do. So, uh, for this one, for some reason, it's don't get hurt. So, uh, I'm going to go back to playing and uh, we'll see as to how long that bonus objective lasts. So here we are on the final round. Now, um, basically, this was how it works every time. I know there's a lot of stuff that is being shown in the video, like abilities and things that haven't been explained yet, but they will be covered in later episodes. So anything you have questions about, don't worry. Come back every day. Each episode will explain a little bit more about the game. Um, basically, the format is going to be part one is going to be the game mode. Part two is the characters and their abilities. Part three is uh, plant pots and zombie summons. Uh, and there may be more than that as well. So uh, just stay tuned, it'll be a fairly long series, uh, like I say it'll be done in, in four parts so there will be little gaps between between each series if that makes sense or between each part. Uh, hoping to get most of it done as quickly as possible, but whoop, there we go. But uh, I need to unlock some of the stuff as well myself so. For example part four will probably be the different characters that you can unlock. Oh Disco Zombie! 
um, but I don't have all of them yet, so it's very difficult for me to actually do that. So, go for it. Oh, get out of the way. Oh, oh, a little heads up, he's invincible while he's spinning that disco ball, so don't try and attack him because it won't do anything. However, do try and stay away from him. There we go. And then he will get dizzy, so then you just shoot him in the face as many times as you can. There we go. Now you may have seen as well in the background, those guys were fighting a giant guy with a lightning beam. That is the Gargantor, uh, I believe. I mean, there are two different ones. Uh, I don't know as to what they're actually specifically called. I know one is... Uh, they're called the Gargantors, I think. They both are, but one's slightly better than the other. So we are kind of doing okay. A little bit sucky that our garden's taking a bit of damage, but it can't be helped when things get a bit too close. If everybody goes off to the spawn points and stuff, it can be difficult to kind of keep an eye on everything. The maps are quite big. They're the same maps that you use for multiplayer uh, versus and stuff. And there is the Yeti. The, uh, the wonderful Ice Yeti. That is one of the worst villains, or one of the worst bosses, sorry, that you will come across. Guaranteed. Uh, and when you get a Super Yeti mode, then you will understand why I say that, because they are just horrendous. Really, really hard to kill. The Gatling this guy in the face. There we go. So, wave completed. And that's it, basically. That is Garden Ops. Um, it's that simple. You're just ten waves. You go through, you do some boss waves, and that's it. <laughs> no, if only it was that easy. No, you need to get to the landing zone as well, uh, which is basically just Crazy Dave's RV. Somewhere randomly on the map will be like, hey, I'm coming here, and then you just have to get to the landing zone. You've got about a minute and a half, slightly more. <clears throat> you can reinforce the landing zone with like one plant pot, I think. What one of them working yet? No, apparently I don't have any. Uh, and then, yeah, basically you just have to be here at the end of the, when the time it hits zero. And I hope that some of the others get here soon, because these guys go and keep coming. And we'll just sit here. Terrible. Right. Uh. So yeah, stuff like the P Gatling, that little flying thing, that's the artichoke heart, that will be explained later on as well. Take that, you zombies. So hopefully in about 30 seconds we will have won and, and everything will be groovy. Oh no. All stars. Good soldiers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They're sending in the big guns. So if you enjoy Gears of War Horde mode, if you enjoy Halo firefights, then uh, this might be the mode for you. You don't get a huge amount of points for it in comparison to some of the kind of PvP versus modes. Um, it also depends on how it plays, who you're playing with and stuff. You can't change your character if you die. This is the thing on this mode. So every other mode, if you die, you can choose which character you spawn as. On this, you're stuck with the choice you make. So if you're playing it and four people decide to be sunflowers, that can be kind of handy, but at the same time, can cause problems later on. So uh, you just have to kind of think wisely as to what sort of thing you want to play as, because that's what you're going to be stuck as. There you are, two and a half thousand coins, which uh, isn't really a lot in the grand scheme of things. But that's it. So that is Garden Ops mode. Uh, so thanks for watching that. And uh, I will be back in the next episode to unlock the secrets of Team Vanquish and how that works. It's very, very straightforward. But like if you enjoyed the video and uh, don't forget to subscribe to see some more of the PVZ Garden Warfare Ultimate Guide. I will catch you around, guys.